Welcome to the Research Software Directory. The Research Software Directory is an online platform designed to show the impact software has on research and society. We stimulate the reuse of research software and encourage proper citation to ensure researchers and research software engineers get credit for their work. To discover software via our platform, scroll down and click on Discover Software. This will take you to an index page, showing an overview of all software currently registered. For each software package, basic information is shown, such as its name and a brief description. To quickly find software of interest, you can filter the entries by providing a keyword. Click on a tile to view the details. This will take you to a dedicated web page, containing all relevant information about the research software you selected. A software page consists of several sections, each providing different information about the software. Some may contain links to external websites, other research outputs, or related information in the research software directory. At the top, you'll find a brief description of the software, followed by a graph showing how actively it is being developed. On the left of the graph, the Get Started button will take you to an external web page with instructions on how to install and use the software. Scrolling down, you will find more information on the different versions of the software that are available and how to cite each of them. By selecting a version and a reference manager format, you can download the correct citation information to include in your publications. By clicking on the unique digital object identifier of a version, you will be taken to an external website which contains archived copies of the software. In the next section, you will find more detailed information. This includes a more extensive description of the software, a list of relevant keywords, the programming languages used, the license under which it is distributed, and finally, a link to the repository where the source code can be found. Next, a list of research organizations is shown, who have contributed to the development of the software. This is followed by the Mention section, which contains a collection of research outputs that are directly related to the software. These may include publications about the software itself, or publications about research in which the software was essential to obtain the necessary results. In addition, it may contain presentations, datasets, tutorials, videos, etc. Clicking on one of the mentions will take you to an external website where the research output can be found. The mention section is followed by user testimonials. These can be used to share the opinion of users. The contributor section shows a list of people who have contributed to the software. For each contributor, their affiliation is listed, as well as their unique research identifier, which can be used to link them to other research outputs. Optionally, their role in the development of the software can also be shown. By highlighting a contact person, we enable interested visitors to reach out to the team. Finally, at the bottom of the page, a list of related projects and tools can be found, each with their own entry in the research software directory. To get more information about any of these tools or projects, simply click on one of the tiles. To add your own research software to the directory, you first need to be able to sign in. Currently, there are two options to do so. SurfConnect, which can only be used by employees of Dutch research institutes, or by using your ORCID research identifier. In this video, we will use ORCID sign-in as an example. To sign up for the research software directory, click Sign up to contribute and fill out the form. Don't forget to provide your ORCID. You will receive an email as soon as your account is activated. Once your account is active, you can use it to sign in. 
you will now be able to add new software to the directory and edit existing software pages for which you are a maintainer. A number of forms are available to provide the information needed to generate the software page. When filling out these forms, it is good to remember that the directory will try to harvest as much information as possible from external data sources. For example, by providing the digital object identifier associated with your software, you can simply import keywords and license information from the metadata. No manual entry of this information is needed. This digital object identifier will also be used to generate the version and citation information shown on the finished page and can be used to automatically retrieve the list of contributors. More detailed instructions on adding software to the directory will be provided in a separate video. If you would like more information about the research software directory, visit us online or send us an email.